జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు మన రాష్ట్రానికి చెందిన చాలామంది మినిస్టర్లు ఉన్నారు మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ పార్లమెంట్లు ఉన్నారు ఎమ్మెల్యేస్ ఉన్నారు వాళ్ళతో పాటు నా ఇండస్ట్రీ కొలీగ్స్ కూడా చాలామంది ఉన్నారు వాళ్ళందరికీ ఈ సభాముఖంగా వాళ్ళని ఆహ్వానం పలుకుతున్నాను I am a born Andhra. I am a first generation Andhra entrepreneur. And I of course have the distinction of starting up a R&D facility for technology services way back in 2007 in Kakinada. That's about 17 years now. Thereafter, in 2010, under the leadership of uh, late Sri Y.S. Rajashekar Idigaru, I started my second development center in the city of Vizag. We have about 1,200-1,300 high-paid engineers who work for us between the two centers. And we do some of the very marquee work for customers all around the world. The best of oil and gas companies, the utilities, telecom, and of the recent past, we actually do work in uh, maintenance repair overhaul of aircraft engines for the aerospace industry. We've had extremely positive growth, positive feelings about how we set it up. One could always ask me this question, why did it not grow as well as the other places? There are always the challenges of the tier two towns in Kakinada, and we certainly believe that the growth will come back. Today, um, to the August audience and to the Honorable Chief Minister, I like to assure him that we will grow our business in Vizag especially. We want to consolidate our business in Vizag, and it will be a double-digit growth moving forward in terms of adding high paid, high paid technology jobs. By now, you could recognize the key thing that is important for us to build our businesses is A, people, B, infrastructure. So infrastructure we have done reasonably well, but I think the key challenge will be in terms of people. There's no denying at all that if you look at a substantial part of people who work in Hyderabad right now in the IT corridors come from this province of Andhra Pradesh, a substantial part of NRA population in the Bay Area came from Andhra. But I think there's a lot more to be done. Honorable Chief Minister Garu, Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, has done amazing work. To me, actually, I've said this in the past too, I'm really astonished about the amount of focus that he has on education. Look at number of schemes that are there in Andhra Pradesh right now. Manabadi, Jagannanna Vasati Divanam, Jagannanna Ammavadi, Jagannanna Vidya Kanuka, Jagannanna Vidya Divanam, tabs for free of cost to about 5,18,000 children. And finally, there is um, Jagannanna's uh, Videshi Vidya Divana. In terms of even budget that we spend on education, it's one of the best in the country at uh, 1.12 lakh crores. So there is a very positive momentum because I've said this too, um, spending money on education is a long-term benefit, so not many people are very keen about it, but I should submit that Sri Jagan Mohan Ridigaru had the vision in making sure that we have a fairly large spend on education. So what is next? What do we do more? Two submissions I have for the Honorable Chief Minister and the um, August audience today. The first one is uh, the quality of our technical education has to improve. That's become one of the key challenges for us. The key challenge is because the world is moving in terms of technology. 
I keep saying, we haven't seen this particular rapid change in technology any time in our lifetime. So we see there's a fairly large technology obsolescence that happens. So unless we rejig our education system at the higher education too, the various schemes that Jagan Mohan Redigaru has put will bring the pipeline to us. But pipeline will take time. We need interventions at the higher education now. That's my first submission to him. We need to definitely make those interventions to ensure that Andhra becomes the knowledge capital of the world. My second submission is there is enormous amount of need for job creation. The job creation can be done only through one thing called entrepreneurship. There is evidence all around the world that 60% of new jobs that get created in any country, west or east, get created only by entrepreneurs. So therefore, I think we need to give a little more spurt in making sure we have innovation, incubation, entrepreneurship in the state of Andhra. And I think there are a few moves that are being done, but my submission to Honorable Chief Minister is these two things, higher education and entrepreneurship, are the ones which will take the state to much, much higher levels. With this, let me conclude by wishing all the very best to Honorable Chief Minister Garu and wish the state of Andhra Pradesh prosperity. Thank you.